Yeah, I'm from Indiana. Check my tattoos. I'm pulling bad women. Plus, I'm icy too. Terra Ho, a level above. Nobody do it like I does it. Show my city love. Hooked up with Nisi, now I'm making moves. Went from a double wide trailer to nine rooms. All my country boys, let's get blood. Cops coming. Throw them balls like Andrew Luck. My money long. I'm paper chasing, I'm falling now like Indiana Pacers, Evansville, Gary 2, Nap Time, let's act the fool, Fort Wayne, come on let's ride, let's show them how these goons do it in the crooked eye, I'm putting on with every song, this white boy's repping Indiana till I'm dead and gone, I'm from Indiana, I'm from, I'm from Indiana, bad boy Dan here. We're out here at Green Valley today. It's February 7th, and a lot of these lakes had ice on them. Well, this one still has a little bit of ice. Actually, a slushy looking ice up on top forming. And sometimes, when you're just on the water right at ice out, sometimes just right at ice out can be a tremendous time. Them fish think spring's coming even faster. They can, they can come up, uh, stuff just hitting the water that normally is not hitting the water because the ice was over it. A while back I seen a mayfly or something on the river. Then we seen a fly out. So some of them little creatures could actually hit the water at this time when the, uh, the ice is out. And along the banks, as you can see back here, along the bank in the back of me, you can actually see where the, the water and the ice is gone. But right here we got some ice. Right now we're in the mud deck and we're about to head over here to this crappie area. Now we might be able to make it, we might not be able to. But there's some trees back over there that we're going to be heading to. But right now, we got to break us to the side. Right now, I feel like we're in a big Titanic. We're in a 1978 polar craft. We got our trolling motor going. We're going to start breaking through this stuff. Here we go. Mm. We're break it through it. Oh, yeah. We're going to get it. We're going to break right through this ice. You hear that? Here we go. We're gonna start skimming through it like a like a snowmobile. We're gonna see if we break it. You hear the ice? I feel like we're in an iceberg right now. So that thing caught a fish. So the fish are out here. If that was able to catch a fish, yeah, let me, let me go. yeah, yeah, right there. You see that crow out there eating a fish. So if that crow was able to get a fish, means these fish might be moving up shallow. Then something maybe we need. To, we probably need to go over here and try it then, because that way, if that if that crow was able to get a fish, that fish had to be somewhere near the top. And actually, I can see an overturn on the bottom coming up too. See the overturn stuff starting to come up. Moss and stuff starting to come up. Very bright. Beautiful out here though. Beautiful. We're uh, trolling motor to our spot where I want to get back over here where I know there's a good deep hole with some uh, crappie cover and panfish cover. And I've seen that crow eating on that bird as you can see. And as we get closer and closer, I want to see exactly what it was. Well, here we are a little bit closer. Let's see what this is. Looks to be a big shad, some sort, right? Goat eye? It's got goat eye on it. It's goat eye. Huh. So, so now my question is, is where are these fish at? Because I know that crow did not swoop down and go into the water and swim and swim and then pick that fish up. I know it didn't do that. So what I think happened is there's some of this little, there's little sections back over here where the ice is gone. Like over here, 
back over there, you can see some of the ice is gone around the edges. Maybe the fish are coming out and swimming in there. And that crow seen it and was like, uh-oh, uh-oh, and swooped down and snatched his ass up out of that water. And brung him over here to feast on him. So if them fish are over there or over there, it's got, they got to be somewhere where there's no ice. So maybe that's the pattern. That's the pattern. So I'm here in West Hill, Indiana, Green Valley. Now, what I want to know from you guys, have you guys been doing any good in pan fishing, crappie fishing, or even bass fishing? That's my plan today is do a little bit of crappie fishing, pan fishing. And we had a broke through the ice. We broke through the ice. As you can see, I know that sun's in your eyes a little bit, but back there, you can see. We've been breaking through the ice the whole time. But we're warm. We got the kerosene heater in here. Yeah, buddy. There's my woman. Woo! They call her Miss Sexy Eyes. Mm. She likes to hold my big catfish rod. <laughs> She's in love with the catfisherman. She rolling, I'm fishing, I'm missing all these fish by talking on this camera. All right, guys, I'm Fatboy Dan. Fatboy Dan's great outdoors. It's February 7th. Ice out. Well, can't really call ice out. We got some snow coming, man, but I had to get on the water, man. I had to. Y'all live to fish, fish to live. This is what it's all about, man. Fat Boy Dan's Great Outdoors. Ah, ooh. That sound like a coyote or a wolf? Nah, it didn't. Oh, well. Ooh, hoo, hoo. That had me a little drop in the water.